Good evening, and as always, thank you so much for joining us tonight. The 21st and the 23rd congressional districts cover Kern County, and that means people are either represented by Kevin McCarthy or David Valadeo. And tonight we're going in depth on state efforts to redistrict based on the latest census data and how that could impact you and the vote for the next election. We'll get into that in just a second, but first let's examine where congressional districts fall right now. So let's start with California's 21st congressional district. That's David Valadeo, who represents that area that you see in dark pink on this map right here. And then moving south to north, the district covers parts of Bakersfield, Wasco, Delano, uh, Kalinga, Lemoore, and Hanford. And now let's take a look at District 23. That's the lighter pink color on this map, and that's the area that Kevin McCarthy represents. The 23rd district includes the other half of Bakersfield, and then it extends as far as Eats to Hatchapi, California City, and Ridgecrest. Now the district also encompasses Porterville as well. And in light of the U.S. Census, California's districts will soon be redrawn, opening the possibility of people seeing some important changes on the ballot next year. 23ABC's Austin Westfall joins us live from Northwest Bakersfield with details on the impacts of redistricting and why it may even play a role in deciding future elections. Good evening, Austin. Good evening, Alex. Yeah, when those maps are redrawn, it could place certain neighborhoods into different districts than they are currently in right now. It's a complex operation that is going to involve a lot of hard thinking by a lot of officials at the state level. And some are saying that it could make a difference when you go to the voting booth later this year. Take a listen. You can see that the Democrats are really making inroads in the eastern part of the county, in the southern part of the county. Kern County is known for having a reliable Republican voter base. But a look at the latest voter registration data is painting a different picture. In Kern County, Republicans only account for 37 percent of all registered voters. Democrats are only a few points behind at 34 percent. Bakersfield High School political science teacher Jeremy Adams explaining that Kern County isn't as reliably red as it once was. This means as the state looks to redistrict, liberal or undecided voters could get roped into a reliably Republican district like House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy's 23rd district. You know, it's really too early to, to, to tell. Uh, we really aren't going to know for a while. California has set a December 15th deadline to decide how the state will be redistricted, although state officials have said that COVID-related delays may occur. According to the state, redistricting is determined by a commission of 14 members made up of five Republicans, five Democrats, and four not affiliated with either of those two parties. You want districts that are drawn in such a way that the voters actually have a choice. Ultimately, Adams says the commission will have done its job if all California districts are drawn in a way that does not favor Republicans or Democrats. Every candidate in a given district should have a fighting chance. Our congressman is going to be very busy in 2022 because this district is absolutely not the safe seat it once was. And that's either a good thing or a bad thing, depending upon your politics. Now, not only are Democrats, uh, registered Democrats, becoming more prevalent in Kern County, but according to uh, Jeremy Adams, we're seeing that uh, about one in five registered voters are actually registered with no party preference in Kern County as well. We reached out to Representative McCarthy's uh, campaign today. We did not get an immediate response back. And coming up in our 6 p.m. news, we are going to be taking a, a further look and uh, some more news coming from the U.S. Census data that is telling us that uh, California is actually going to be losing one House seat as a result of those population counts. Those details coming up at 6. Here in Bakersfield, Austin Westfall, 23 ABC, connecting you. All right, thank you, Austin. And taking a deeper dive into how redistricting could change things for Kevin McCarthy based on his past runs for elected office, which shows a downward trend in his votes. So the 2011 census caused redistricting, switching McCarthy from District 22 to District 23. And his first run for his current district actually happened back in 2014. And that's when McCarthy ran against Democratic challenger Raul Garcia. McCarthy earned about 74% of the votes in that race. And then we jumped to 2016. Democrat Wendy Reed stepped up to challenge McCarthy and McCarthy came out on top with 69% of those votes. And then two years later, McCarthy ran against Democrat Tatiana Mata and won that election with 64% of those votes. And then last November, McCarthy faced up against Democratic challenger Kim Mangon and won roughly 62% of the votes in that race.